Hello, thanks for viewing our tutorial. Please remember to go like and share this video and also like, share, subscribe and follow Amateur Inspired Media on all social media platforms. And here we go. Let's start by opening a new composition. Title of that composition, Fog Smoke, or Smoke Fog. All right, now finally there's an empty space down on our timeline. We're gonna right click, click New, click Solid, and we're gonna go with the gray smoke, or dark gray color. Now we're gonna go to our uh, effects and preset section. We're gonna type in fractal. We're looking for fractal noise. Make sure we choose the regular fractal noise. We're gonna click on it and drag it and drop it into our composition panel. She have this gray cloudy looking object. In the far left hand corner, we're gonna adjust the settings. Let's go to contrast. We're gonna reduce our contrast to 60. And we're gonna adjust the complexity to 5.7. We're gonna change our evolution to 137. 100 is fine, anything above 100. And we're gonna alt click on the keyframe stopwatch and we're gonna type in our expression. Expression that we'll be typing in will be times TIM star 170. Then we'll uh, uh, click on transform, adjust our transform setting, uncheck uniform scale, scale width, to put it about halfway, around 287, and your scale height around 296. Now we're gonna adjust our offset turbulence. We're gonna keyframe it. Get this little square box and we're gonna, from our center, we're gonna click and drag it. And we're gonna simulate cloud movement or smoke movement. Simulating a smoke, uh, we're gonna simulate smoky lift effect. And then next we're gonna go to our timeline panel, right click on your layer, mask, choose new mask, and we're gonna adjust our mask as such. If you're having issues adjusting the mask, just click on the arrow beside mask, open your settings, choose mask, and make sure you choose the circle cropping perimeter on your mask to adjust your mask as such. Again, we're simulating low floating smoke or fog. Now we'll adjust the feather by increasing the feather. Feather will actually take away the border of the image in clouds. So feel free to increase as much as you like. I can make further adjustments to see if it will just lessen the contrast a little more. I'm gonna render. Also, uh, adjust the opacity. 
and make it more cloudy. Also, increase the feather a little more. If that's a question of my love, you got it. Baby, don't worry, I got plans for you. Yeah, baby, I've been making plans. Oh, love, baby, I've been making plans for you. Yeah. Composition, add to the new Use HD, H264 settings. We go. Please remember to like, and share this video tutorial, and go follow us, and subscribe to Amateur Inspired Media on all social media platforms.